You just see her in the hallways and you just see her smile and just say hi. And I'm a stressful person all the time, but when I see her, it's just like, oh, I'm not stressed anymore. You know, I don't really remember her being sad and her smile, she had an amazing smile. The average day with Brie was amazing. <laughs> Once you're with her, you feel nothing but positive vibes. Like, she's just always outgoing. She'll never judge you. Just, just the comforting person to, person to be around. always the one that was just bouncing around and was all cheery and happy and everybody's like seriously Brianna it's seven o'clock in the morning like stop being so happy but she was just she always just saw the positive in everything and it was just really inspiring and now wait a minute first it's only a brownie she made the best hoochie brownies or slutty brownies she was known for those and always having the best bloody bounties. I'd usually buy one if I had a dollar. So Taylor texted me yesterday about um, making slutty brownies just to hand out to people today and um, just to make their day a little bit easier. And um, They're not nearly as good as Bree's, and, but we tried. She's the kind of person to where if you didn't have the money, she's okay, pay me later. Yeah. And you keep forgetting, okay, just keep paying me later. I mean, her trust system with everybody was really, really significant. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, a single person. If you heard yeah. Bree's name, this is all you thought about. Yeah. And it wasn't <laughs> just even here. It was at PV. It was at all the other Same schools. Time. I mean, Everybody. She, everywhere. She, I mean, Bree was known for her brownies everywhere. Yeah. Make today a little bit easier. We figured we'd hand them out to people. And, yeah. We would always like do British accents together and like laugh at every, everything and all the stupid people at Applebee's. And we were just watching TV and having the best time. That's the best way I can put it. All those other guys were together, but it's just me and her watching TV and it's the best time ever. We, well, her brothers nicknamed her Cave Woman and it, it stuck around with her for me because uh, she used to run around uh, grizzly old, frizzly old hair, a little booger wolf ch ch child running around looking like something like a Neanderthal and stuff. She woke up crack of dawn and went running in the morning. She sat and she watched the sunrise and she came back and told us how beautiful it is. That, that moment, like I just knew, I knew she cared for me. Like she wasn't just saying things like, oh, just to make me feel better. You can tell that she genuinely cared for me and she wanted me to succeed. It wasn't bullshit. She was like, you know what? I do care for you. And you know, it wasn't just me she cared for. It was everyone. She was just telling me to move forward and just keep everything up. And you know, just how proud she was of me. And honestly, I respect that. And I'm so glad that I got to meet her. Cause she's seriously like, she did a lot for me. Yesterday, she, we were at school and we, we made eye contact for like five to ten seconds and she did nothing but just smile at me and it just, it made my day that much better, you know? I remember going to um, a room and I was like throwing up and I was like, oh my God, this is so embarrassing. And like Brie was there, like she was there like holding my hair and like telling me everything's gonna be fine. And like, it was my first party. So I was like freaking out. I was like, dude, what is wrong with me? And like, I just like, I started like confessing everything. I was like, I have never like, I've said stuff about my love life. And she's like, it's fine, it's okay. Like, you'll be fine. And I was like, dude, like, why am I telling you this? 
and we ran all the way to the top and we sat on the top and just glorified of how beautiful life is and how wonderful everything is. And then we rode all the way down and we had so much fun. That pretty much, she didn't care if she didn't have anyone running with her. She wanted to go and see light, like she wanted to live and that's pretty much how I would describe Brie is like she was the most impeccable person I've ever met and no one that's ever met her has had any type of bad experience with her. And she would just like always overdo it, like just always hug us and be like, I love you guys. And we'd be like, okay, you tell us all the time, you know? Well, I wish I could get one last hug. She was so willing to do anything and she always made fun out of nothing. We literally sat on swings for an hour and talked and it it was fun I don't have fun with people like just sitting there not doing anything I get bored easily but whenever I'm with her I laugh so hard that my stomach hurts and there's tears in my eyes that never happens I never talk about like problems with her it was only the good stuff breathe the G breathe the G working on our senior trip to Yosemite together. Her and I went back and forth for a really long time on what kind of hikes we wanted to do and different things like that. And I still really want it to happen. It's gonna happen. We'll see how it happens. I just hope that I can make her proud with it. Um, I'm also in yearbook and I'm like a co-editor, so I'll definitely be dedicating like a sole page to her and how she's touched everyone. I'm really excited for that, to show the world that she was someone special. Well, she just got accepted into like a couple universities and so did I, so I'm just going to continue going to school and always keep her with me because I know that she would want me to do that and I know that she would be doing that if she was still here today. And I want to I wanna do it for her. I want to be that person to just carry her through so no one forgets her. And I just want to live through her and I don't want her to be forgotten and I know she won't. She impacts the community so much and yeah. Uh, she definitely loved the Lord. Uh, she was a very spiritual person. Uh, her heart's desire was to put God first in everything. And um, the, the wisdom that would come from her heart uh, was genuine. You know, it, it didn't come from intellect. It came from deep, deep in her soul. Before I go, I'd like everyone to stand up and put these signs up for a moment of silence for brief, starting now. If Rihanna was here, I'd tell her just thank you for always being happy and always seeing the positive and everything. And you're just really inspiring to me because you never let life get you down. You're really like the example of the perfect person. You were a beautiful person inside and out. No one no one would ever compare to you, and I hope that you're happy up there and know that we all love you. And I'm always gonna keep the positive energy and show it around all the time. The last time I saw you, Brie, you were dancing with your headphones in. You were looking at me and you're like, I wish I had another headphone so you can hear and you can dance with me. And the thing is about people, Brie, like, there's a lot of good people, but you are a great person and people like you don't come around every so often when they do. You have so many people that love you and that are here for you and I will always love you and cherish you and always remember the amazing spirit you are. Brianna, I know that we weren't close but um, you had so much positive energies and you were so selfless and um, we're going to miss you down here. Um, Watch out for us, we love you, and you'll be graduating on stage with us, and you'll be in my, my speech for graduation. Okay, love you. Um, Bria, 
you can see us right now. I'd like to thank you for everything you've done to my life. Even now, you've changed my life even more. So thank you for that. Uh, rest in peace. Bree, I love you, and I'm going to miss you so much. And I can't believe that this has happened, but I know you're in a better place, and I just wish you the best. Brianna, I love you so much, and I miss you. I miss you and I'll just, you mean everything to me and all these people and you're like a sister to me and you always will be and I'll never forget you and I hope you're doing good up there partying for all of us and just rest in paradise. I love you. Um, Bree, I love you and rest in peace. I'm gonna smile every day for Bree because you know what, that's what you gotta keep on doing. You just can't give up. You just gotta keep going. And that's what I love right there. You just can't just keep give up. You just gotta keep going. Just wanna say bye, Bree. I love you. You're way too good for this earth. I just want to say, Brie, I love you more than you will ever know. Thank you for being the best friend that I could ever ask for and holding me when I was crying. There's no one out there like you, and I'm so glad I got to meet you. I'm so glad I got to share the memories with you and all the awesome friends we met together and all the crazy times we shared together. But I know you're in heaven with Nana and Papo, enjoying life. I, just, I love you, Brie. Uh, Brianna, your big cousin, I love you. Uh, bright future, we're gonna miss you. But I hope the whole family comes together with this. And we're all gonna try to make a good example, especially starting with me being the oldest. And I probably didn't set the great, greatest example, but I'm gonna start now. And that's what I got from it. And you, you were the perfect example. You had everything going for you. But it's gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right, you're in a better place. I know you are. anything funny about driving recklessly. Allow my daughter's story to teach you to think before getting behind that wheel. Her life lives on as long as you are living a positive life. From my family to yours, be safe.